So this is week 12 in the garden. Everything is growing really well. We've just been away for a week camping, so I had to do a lot of cleanup in the garden. The peppers are growing really nicely. As you can see, we've got quite a few jalapenos started. And they've been doing pretty well. The bell peppers have not been doing very well, but the jalapenos have been doing very well, and so have the hot peppers. I'm not really sure what variety they are, but I think they're just hot peppers. Got lots of jalapenos. We'll be able to pick these in a few days, I think. And then we'll probably can them or pickle them. And here are some red ones, except I think they went a little moldy, as you can see. They go green first and then red. And I'm not sure if I just didn't pick them at the right time. We got lots of bell peppers down here, but again, they didn't do too well. And then more hot peppers. And more jalapenos. And then our corn is coming in really nicely. I think we have like 11 ears of corn in total growing. And my cousin Karen told me a secret as to how to know when they're ripe and ready to pick. And none of these are quite big enough yet. So that's the corn and the peppers. The zucchini, I don't think next year I'm going to grow it in the garden. I'll probably grow it in a container because I was trying to grow it vertically and it's just not growing vertically very well in the raised garden bed, but it's doing quite well in the container growing vertically. So I think next year these guys will only be in the container and not in the garden. And then we've got a little toad house, and when I lifted it up earlier today, there was a little toad in it, but he hopped away. I'm going to try and catch him again, because he was doing a really good job of eating some of the pests in the garden. And then I just pulled up all of this lettuce, and I now have this empty space that I haven't figured out what I'm going to plant yet. Maybe some onions or beets or something. And we've got a lot of beans growing. These are bush beans. They're purple bush beans, but they come in green first and then turn purple. So that'll be interesting to see. And then our poor cucumber plants. These poor cucumbers have been through so much. We've had so many cucumber beetle issues. That's why the leaves all look damaged because I've been spraying them with soapy water almost every night to kill the cucumber beetles. But despite that all, we have a few growing. There's some more damage of the leaves. They're just killing them. And they're making all of the cucumbers rot before they can even grow. And here are the two we have growing out of all of the little ones that are on the vine. We managed to actually get two growing. And they didn't get taken out by the cucumber beetles. I've cut off most of the dead ones so that these newer ones can hopefully survive and thrive, but they're growing up quite, quite nicely up the trellis. They're about 
a third of the way up on their side, which is pretty nice. They've got all this space to grow up into until they meet the peas at the other end. Or actually, I think they're beans, yeah. The beans on the other end. And then our sunflowers are huge right now. We actually have one that's bloomed, which is kind of neat. It's a very pretty, pretty sunflower. And then we've got our little praying mantis egg sac. But so far, it's still not doing anything. I think we're on week five or week six for that egg sac. And it actually came camping with us because I was afraid it would hatch while we were gone and all the little babies would fry. Uh, but it's still not doing anything. So we found a lot of interesting bugs in the garden this year, including this little guy, which I had never seen. I googled it and apparently he's a tiger moth. But they're doing a lot of damage to my sunflowers, so I'm going to take them over to the forest and they can eat the tree leaves over there because there's a ton. You can see all the damage they've done, and there's only two on my sunflowers, so they've managed to do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. We should have lots of sunflowers popping up soon. And then over here on my beans, my poor beans have been just taken over by Japanese beetles while we were gone. There was none on them when we left, but when we got back, they had stripped all the leaves, as you can see above. And there's some right there. And they just are damaging my beans to no end. So I've been using soapy water and all the leaves have damage on them now, but the beans are still coming in really well still growing. We got several to pick for tonight. It's filling out really nicely. I'm so excited to see how this will look when the trellis is just full of beans. I think it's going to look really cool. But yeah, there's the damage you can see left by the soap from me spraying so much soapy water on them. And then down here is just a tiny little cucamelon plant I planted just yesterday. I'm hoping it will grow and maybe we'll see one or two cucamelons by the end of the summer, but I'm not sure if it'll take because it's pretty late in the season now. And then this big messy jungle is the tomato and carrot garden because that's all that's in here. And you can see the carrots are quite tall and the tomatoes are just growing like a weed. I'm not really sure how the carrots are doing so we can pull one and see how long they are. I like to check on them every couple of days or so I pull one out. We might not have any left by the end. But see they're all growing in this hook shape. I'm not sure what that is. I googled it and it said either poor soil or I didn't thin them properly. But I thinned these guys out pretty well before I planted them. So I'm not sure. Put them in the compost pile over there. And then here's some of the tomatoes. The tiny toms, there's a lot of them that are starting to go red, which is good. But I don't think I'm going to plant them in the garden next year. I think I'm going to plant them in hanging baskets because they're just, they're not getting a lot of sunlight because the other carrots and the bigger tomatoes are just taking over. There's some of the beefsteak tomatoes lots of them coming in. There's more tiny toms. More beefsteaks. None of them have turned red yet. They're all still green, but 
there's a ton of them. When they do turn red, we're going to be eating tomatoes for days. i got to grab that little sucker there. And some more beef steaks. And then... We do have, I think, some Romas growing in here. I think there's three Roma tomato plants in here. There's one at the front, one at the back, and one right beside the trellis. But the one right beside the trellis is being taken over by these Cherry 100s, which has just exploded. He's trying to take over the whole garden. I've had to tie him up to the tomato cage quite well, as you can see. Tie his branches to it because he's decided to grow outside of the tomato cage. And then in this little tiny spot is where the other aroma tomato plant is, but he's very small, I think, because he's not getting as much sun and he's shaded by the cherry 100 plant. There's some. So next year, since this was a learning garden this year to see what we could do, I'm probably not going to plant as many tomato plants in the garden and plant some more in hanging baskets, like the smaller varieties and less of the bigger plants, just to give them some more room. There's lots of cherry tomatoes. Again, none of them are ripe. The only ones that are ripe so far are the tiny toms. There is, however, a little praying mantis in here somewhere that I've named Frank. And he, we found at the drive-in. The people beside us found him on the grass and I scooped him up and brought him home. Because of all the beetle problems we had been having, I thought maybe he could help out. He was originally in the one garden and then he moved over to the tomato garden. I don't think I can find him though. Here he is in the little bottle I brought him home. He just chilled in the little water bottle until the movie was over and then I let him go in the garden and he stayed. I've seen him several times. Here he is on the cucumber plant just relaxing and chilling and he was on it for quite a while but then he moved over to the tomato uh, garden and I've spotted him several times over there. He seems to really like the really big tomato 100 plant, but I don't think I can find him today. There was a huge rainfall uh, just a couple hours before I shot this video, and I think he's probably hiding as deep in the garden as he can so he didn't get wet, but I'll probably find him later. He'll come out and sun himself. There's some more of the tiny toms. Like I said, they don't get much sun. They're pretty shaded from all of the other plants, so I think they would do much better next year going back into the hanging baskets that I have. I just thought I'd try them in this garden and see if they worked, but it's been a learning experience for sure. So that's the tomato and carrot garden and the beans growing up the trellis and the sunflowers coming out and the peppers and zucchini everything is growing nicely and that is week 12 in the garden that's how things are growing